20th December at NASREC, the steering committee held a successful meeting with the leadership of yeah, MKMVA. Uh, no, 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 sorry, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. This conference must answer a lot of things from this proposal. From this proposal, no good to like Melanie to disappear when you commanded us to come and fight inside the country. Was, you never gave uh, any press conference. You never told us about the disappearance of Noctula Similan. Who sent Noctula Similan? I think you must control this comrade. Somebody. No, I this? want any explanations. I was arrested. You commanded me yes. to come inside the country. I was arrested. You never called us into a meeting. You mm. never called us into a meeting. Why today? Why today? Why today? No, 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 Chief, whoa, whoa, wait, no, 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 when are you a young? Yeah. You are young, no, 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 sit down. No, 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 it's how continue. This woman died, Chief, this woman died, man. I am a half, Chief, you are young, man. This woman died, man. No, no, I can't, no, I can't move. Get a bed. Power. Okay. Okay. Obviously, this this is headline catching. <laughs> yeah. I'll start afresh. Uh, following the MK National Council of the 17th of December, 2017, at NASREC, the steering committee had a successful meeting with the leadership of MKMV on the 31st January. Uh, on the January 2017. The meeting was frank and constructive around all matters raised and discussed by the NASREC Council. Both parties were unanimous about their responsibility to preserving the struggle, heritage, and legacy of the African National Congress. In this regard, some of the statements previously attributed to the leadership of MKMVA were considered regrettable. All of us as former members of MK in good standing pledged to do everything in our power to discourage and combat factionalism in the African National Congress. Following the above observation by both parties, we unanimously agreed on the importance to strengthen our ranks as former combatants and agreed to henceforth work together through a common platform to address the challenges within MK, MVA, and the AAC in general. As a result, a joint MK, MVA conference preparatory team will be established to work towards uniting all former MK members in order to enable them to make solid contributions to the various ANC milestones during 2017. These briefly are the MKMVA Elective Conference, the ANC Veterans League Conference, the ANC National Consultative Conference, the ANC Policy Conference, and later the ANC Elective Conference in December. We have decided amongst ourselves to bring the MKMVA National Conference forward, to unite ourselves and to enable the association to play a decisive role in all the forthcoming critical ANC national gatherings. It is our resolve to work together as a united force to prepare our contributions for the three ANC gatherings which we feel are created critical for the life of the ANC, for the transformation of our society and the promise our movement made to the continent and the progressive world in general. Issued jointly by uh, the MKMVA headquarters and uh, the steering committee of the National Council. I thank you. Yeah. Thank you, General.
we're going to take a, a round of questions, but first we apologize for the occurrence and let's focus on the statement. Uh, can I take hands? Okay, we'll start on this side to introduce yourself and where you the media house you come from. You'll be the first one. There's a hand also there in the yellow t shirt, the second one, and there's a third hand this side. In that order. Can you explain uh, what do you mean by that? Does that mean that the MKBA withdraw its support for a women president for the SDS? Okay, the second. The second one. Um, I'm sorry, but I'll have to go into the incident that just transpired here. Uh, what would you think brought about this incident of this um, member of the MKBA, his name is Nyanda, you were the general commander when Mutsula uh, Pimilani was missing? And also, has you and KP Mapazwe resolved the issues that you have? Because you said in that council that you have that some and the leadership of the MKMVA, but they don't even know, they don't even know which detachment they belong to. And secondly, Mr. Kipi Mapazwe, the resolutions that you have taken as MKMVA, are they on ice right now, which start in this structure that you are no, really no longer supports Mkosa Zanadlami Zuma as the incoming president of the ANC Council that is coming in December. And the last question, you decided to bring your elective conference forward. What processes will you be embarking on to make sure that your MKMVA upcoming conference is inclusive of all detachments of the rebellion league? Thank you. The question for me is to, is to uh, you know, how soon will we get the elective conference delivered? Because it's been about the ANC. Uh, elective conference and uh, the police conference coming forth in around June. All right, thank you. Uh, no, can you come on this one? Yeah, um, I'm happy to be given the opportunity to to deal with the question of the of the comrade who who rose here to disrupt the meeting. He worked under my mission uh, at funerals and so on. The things that he has raised has never raised before. And he knows that, uh, or should know. And I think the, the, the media should be aware of, of uh, the, the story of Noctula. It's been written ab about so many times uh, that uh, Noctula was, was captured by the enemy, tortured, uh, and most likely in fact killed. And she belonged to, I didn't even know that she was participating in, in the struggle uh, in, in, our, in, in our machinery. Some people were, were working with her. So I had, absolute, I had absolutely nothing to do with her. And this comrade also, I had absolutely nothing to do. I mean, he, he was arrested and probably what we have never done is to debrief some of the comrades who were arrested and went to spend time on Robben Island to find out uh, how they were arrested, some of them, and, and so on. But I, I absolutely, I've, I've heard about his unhappiness a few weeks ago from some people who said, hey, man, he was kicked and he's unhappy about stuff. And I didn't expect this, and uh, I must apologize. Now, on the, <coughs> for this incident, Well, we're going to discuss the, the question of the, of the conference. The, all we can say is that we have agreed that it should be brought forward and that will be, everybody is going to play a role. Because
because we want to go forward as a united force, as we said, in preparation for other milestones for the year. Uh, but the detail of how, how soon uh, will depend on, on, on the discussions that we're going to have later. MKMV are going to have a, a, a meeting of the National Executive Com uh, Committee, and they've been forthcoming enough to say, we are willing to bring this forward. Uh, we are going to bring it forward. That's why we have a statement that says so. But of course, we must allow them the space as well as leadership of MKMV to, to uh, consult with the National Executive about details. But we will also work to work with them. As long as we have this joint preparatory committee, we are sure we are going to resolve all the questions of, of logistics uh, what, and, and then how we can then have this uh, conference as soon as possible because it is important for us to impact on everything else that is going to go on in the African National Congress. Thanks. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mangaleso, and the uh, media people here today. Uh, you might be aware that uh, the National Executive Committee of the ANC has put a lead on the succession uh, debates. So as MKMVA, as we derive our existence from the African National Congress, we take uh, decisions of the NEC, of the ANC as binding. <coughs> but at the correct time, uh, the MKMVA will convene a press conference uh, after the ANC has allowed the succession debate to be discussed. I, I didn't get your question correct to, uh, correctly of uh, KB and General Nyanda. Can you just clarify? It's, it's you. Yes, what did you say then? Are you and uh, General Nyanda working together now? Since in the last council of the MKE hearing committee in December, if I'm not mistaken, they said some are in the MKMVA, yet in your, they don't know which detachment they belong to. You did not attend that council meeting at NASREC as the leader of MKMVA, which caused assertions that you are not working together. Yes, you are available to do media interviews with other media houses on that particular day. Thank you. That is why you see this collective here today. It tells you that we are working together, and the statement is very clear that. Uh, We've got now a program of uh, working together, not only for the MKMVA conference, but also to say MKMVA must play a very important role in the life of the African National Congress. Because the resource within MKMVA, it's very huge. And we want our comrades to go to serve in the political education unit of the ANC, which some are serving, the subcommittees of, of economic transformation, all subcommittees of, of the ANC. So it's not about the, the conference, but as MKMVA, we have found each other, we are working along towards not only the MKMVA conference, but we are saying we must contribute effectively at the policy conference of the ANC. That is why we have brought the National Conference of MKMVA forward, that we move as a united force and contrib co contribute effectively at the ANC conf uh, Policy Conference, Veterans League Conference, and the ANC Conference. There are no resolutions of MKMVA that has been put on ice. The, M the MKMVA <laughs> continues to exist as a constitutional structure. So it will continue implementing its own resolutions up until the, the elective uh, uh, conference. But the Joint Preparatory Committee, as General has said, that is still going to meet and deal with ma uh, many other uh, issues that are, are technical in nature.
as not really a, a MKMVA ceasing to exist. MKMVA exists as a structure, and that's why you see the comrades were working together with them towards the, both the conference of MKMVA, the ANC Veterans League, the policy conference of the ANC, and we, we are sure that come the conference of MKMVA, we are going to emerge united and we'll never have any two uh, uh, parties sitting like this after the conference. You'll have one united MKMVA leadership elected by, by the conference. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Chairman. Uh, you want to make a follow-up? If it's a delay, let them make a follow-up first. And then we'll come. Uh, my question on the executive conference. Can we, you know, there are perceptions that MKM, the name itself, is, is compromised because the structure was, you know, was known to be divisive, you know, factionalism, by I mean, promoting factionalism within the ANC. Are we, are we, are we, can we anticipate to see, you know, the name change post this elective conference? Okay. Um, thanks. Thank you, my dear, from the 24. Just two very quick questions. The conference preparatory team, who is it made up of? It seems like it's already been established. Who are the members? And then also to Nadema Pazwe, um, at the, it's almost, this almost links up to a question that some people asked. Um, at the anniversary celebrations last year, I was listening to James Van Roy, a leader in the MKMV, and he seemed to have been speaking about how there were threats to undo the leadership of the MKMVA. What led to a change of heart that you've been able to listen to your seniors in essence? What is it that made you go, you know what, maybe we should be talking to them, maybe we should be working with them for the unity of the party. Thank you. I just want to find out if the ANC's decisions were binding. If you're saying the ANC's decisions were binding, is that realization, did it only happen today? Because yesterday, you appeared in what was purely perceived to be a pro Aminis Uma church service. So can you explain whether the change of heart happened today? Yesterday, you spoke, you spoke a different language. All right, thanks. Uh, let's get the national chairperson to uh, respond. Yes, yes, yes. On December 15th, when he was addressing the, the Galactic Party. Thank you, sir. Uh, the MKMVA name. Uh, has never been a, a compromise. <coughs> but the, the statement is very clear there that uh, there are other statements that were made by the leadership of MKMVA, uh, including myself. <coughs> and it's not for the first time I stand here and explain this issue. Uh, and I'll repeat it again. The statement refers to the statement that we read here about the veterans of the, the it was the stalwarts in particular. So we have said in front of you that uh, we went overboard, uh, for an example, of calling them empty teams. And we withdrew that uh, uh, statement and we apologize. That's cadres of incongruities, you know. If uh, we have done something wrong and comrades criticize you constructively, you should not be afraid to stand in front of the media again and say, no, indeed I went overboard uh, on that issue. So that's cadre of incongruities. Not people to run away and hide and say, no, I'm not going to apologize. So it's for the second time that I'm repeating this thing, that uh, I went overboard on the on, on calling uh, the Star Wars empty teams. So I think that one uh, 
it was a criticism from within, not only from comrades outside, even some comrades in the NEC of MKMVA, including the leadership of the ANC, called me to order that uh, that statement was an, an unfortunate. And we, we apologized. Promoting factionalism, it's an issue that the NEC and the president has been talking about, all the leadership of a, the ANC is saying we must stop this thing of factionalism. And as MKMVA, we want to play a role in dealing with factionalism, both in MKMVA and in the ranks of the African National Congress. So it is our program of action of going forward on how do we assist the, the African National Congress. The conference preparatory, we said it's joint preparatory committee, both from uh, the leadership of the MK, MK National uh, uh, Council and both from the leadership of MK MVA. We're going to prepare this conference uh, together. Comrade Des, statements of uh, of what? He, he, Greg, the, he, he made statements about how there were no other MKs in this. We're going to take over from the MKMVA. We're going to take over from the MKMVA. He himself is speaking as if he believed there was an outside threat. This was in the lead up to the MK General Council. And so what I'm asking is, if there was a perception that there was a threat from outside trying to disrupt the leadership of the MKBA, what's been the change of heart? Because he, based on the comments he was making, you wouldn't be here today, but you are. So there must have been a change of heart somewhere between then and now. So I'm asking, what's been the change of heart? I think Des was speaking at the gala dinner, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yes, it was at the, uh, at the, the gala dinner. Des was not referring uh, to what was going to happen at uh, Nazareth. Des was speaking to our internal preparations towards uh, the gala dinner. There were so many things that happened there uh, which made us to doubt whether really uh, are we getting support we are supposed to get it. So he was referring to our own internal uh, preparations an example is that some of the families who were supposed to be the recipients, their transport was organized late and they did not uh, arrive in time. So we're really asking who uh, arranged the transport, why the families arrive, arrive late. He was referring to that, uh, Comrade Des. ANC decisions, I repeat, of the National Executive Committee are binding. I was there in Hutu yesterday and that was a gathering convened by Bishop Ndlebende of the faith, the faith <coughs> mission ministry. And it is his program to go around the country speaking about women. And the theme of the yesterday, it was women in leadership. It was not organized by the ANC Women's League. It was organized by the church. So the church invited Comrade Nkosazana Lamene uh, Zoma to speak in that event on, the, on, the leader, on women in leadership. So Comrade Nkosazana there was referring to Africa, that as a, the former chairperson of the African Union, there are very, very, very few women who are in leadership positions of presidents. And she was saying to us, the warmth that she has received since she came into office, it was surprising that the majority of <coughs> presidents, men president, they were supportive of her to say, we need to get more women into the leadership of uh, uh, these institu institutions. And there's nothing wrong if uh, women are speaking about themselves. So he was, she was speaking about the women uh, leadership, that uh, there's only one woman who's left now, and her term is coming to an end, and she's from Liberia. So the only one 
she's remaining. After that, there will be no woman president in Africa. So she was referring to that, that uh, women must rise up. And this was the theme of the church by Bishop uh, Ndlebende. That, uh, and I wish the media that was there yesterday, they listened properly how Bishop Ndlebende was articulating this thing. Because he was speaking from the Bible about the role of the, uh, the women. So I'm saying uh, it was not a factional meeting. It was a church. We are at church. So I don't think church are factional. So that was at Bishop Ndlebende who organized that gathering and he is going around the country calling about uh, women to rise up for their rights. Thank you. Sir, there is no special MPP leaders here. We fought for uh, where we are. We have houses today because of you guys. We, uh, we are working because of you guys. They never did anything for us. So today they are not telling us for as a special conference. There will be no special conference. There will be no special conference. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's have order. Let's have order. No, let's have order. Let's have order, let's have order. No, no, let's have order that side. At least the side, but not that side. That side, let's have order. Can we raise our hands if we want to speak? Yeah. Okay, Siri. <laughs> All right, Siri. Then you'll, you'll follow. You'll be the third one, who's Oh, and you'll be the last one. Very Thank you so much. Again, Siri, my dear, from the Federal General, and Yanda. What do you make of this? Do you think this is Marcus? <coughs> now you're seeing <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that this is Marcus saying that during a briefing about a joint government, there'll be people speaking out against what you are trying to do? Thank you. Okay. Let me That was going to be one of my first questions. Um, another question for the NKMDA chair. I remember that uh, Mr. Nanda, I think, was it five days ago or so? You spoke about how there's a need for the NEC to be disbanded and for the interim um, leadership to be elected. I want to know if um, Mr. Mapato agrees with that because I remember very well that when the chief whip of the ANC in parliament suggested that, you said that was sort of fostering factionalism in the party. Do you agree with, with, with that? And also, I mean, you speak about being at the church yesterday, it was not factional, but you were there when the ANC Women's League said, the NWC said we must not campaign, but we will campaign for this honest leader. We've got it on record. Did you speak to them after that that they were wrong to start campaigning despite the NWC warning against that? Thanks. All right. Uh, Chief, this you need to, yeah, this you need to, if, you, if you are trying to project a sense, you will be challenged now that you are wearing an organizational background. Can we say, uh, moving forward, Maybe um, how will how will this course help to uh, you know just the AMC come in, in the twenty nineteen election because I mean it's, it's the known fact that AMC is taking sugar charge is something we do. I can be corrected. Mr. Mapato, you did not attend the council last year. Yeah. You have done your gala dinner and came to talk at Empress Palace. Um, was uh, sexist saying it's not what you expected. Right now, there is drama here. You did not attend a council meeting of your own members who were in the struggle with you, which was largely a huge gathering. What does this say? about the state of NKMDA, the state of the ANC as a whole. Are you not worried about such utterances of your own members who are seemingly saying they did not gain anything from past leaders, which with us means the struggle was all about class materialism? Thank you. Hello, Sir India. 
I'm just wondering how you guys going to go forward and unite so that there is a divided Uh, yeah, no, I, I think you can make off uh, what is happening yourselves. I am not going to, to comment. Uh, you are adults and you can, you can see for yourselves what is happening and make deductions about what is happening. Uh, from our part as the steering committee, we came into this exercise uh, informed by what we say here and by, by what uh, we, we have been saying is, is a concern of ours about the state of organization <coughs> of the ANC itself, of the ANC Veterans League, of MKMPA. And we are here to try to resolve those issues. And we are doing everything in our power to try to, to attend to those. And these are, and, and of course, you know, they, uh, because the ANC itself is, a, is in, a, in a worrying state. And, and, and we have spoken to the leadership of the African National Congress about uh, how we might ameliorate the situation of the African National Congress because the African National Congress itself is in dire straits. And we need to impact on resolution of the challenges facing it. And we thought that it is, it is better to, uh, to try to do so as veterans of Mkondo Esizo. And of course you know that there is a veterans uh, association of Mkondo as well. You know, you, somebody raised the question earlier about whether we are going to change the name. It's not the name uh, as such that is a problem. Uh, because it is an association, we agreed on, on the, we're part, party to the process, process of creating that name. But if the ANC is, is in problems, we're not going to change the name of the African National Congress. We must change the ANC. So we want to ensure that we do everything in our power to, to unite the to, to unite the controversies uh, going forward. And uh, obviously, uh, the, the, everything we've done so far points to that, our genuine uh, desire to ensure that. Uh, and and uh, we have been asked by, by MKMPA that they need, we needed a, a, a joint press conference. We wanted to have a press conference last weekend, last week, and, and you know, some of you were there when we released a, a statement. And we asked, no, let's have a, a, a joint, a joint uh, press, uh, press uh, conference. And this is a joint conference, and we came to it with no hidden agenda, just to inform the media about the, the things that we have agreed upon. And we will not do anything to detract from that. And some of these things that are happening here will not de uh, distract us from the main objective that we want to achieve. There's a comrade Greg who wants to say something. You see, uh, comrades, uh, <coughs> unity, do, you don't just uh, uh, get it. You know, uh, you work uh, for it. So, most of the resolutions of uh, the Nazarek Council in particular, the ones that were specific to MK, MVA. I can say 90% of them, we agree with those resolutions. 
because they're speaking about the life of MKMVA, the welfare of uh, uh, our comrades. They speak about the integration processes. They speak about our comrades who are now uh, 40 and more than 60 years who qualifies to be in the ANC Veterans League. It's, it's part of our resolutions as the MKMVA that we, are, we want our comrades to swell the ranks of the ANC, but those who qualify to be in the ANC Veterans League, we encourage them to join uh, the ANC Veterans League. So the resolutions on MK uh, from the Nazareth, there are no really uh, disagreements because they speak to also what we are doing as a at the MKMVA, and we're saying together moving forward, we're going to make sure that we change the lives of our, uh, our comrades. We, we, we will achieve unity uh, working together. Uh, rest assured, when you go to the conference, uh, we'll be one. We're still going to report to, to our comrades, but as leaders, we can't when we take decisions and expect that we cannot pronounce on the decisions that we have taken when they gave us powers to pronounce on their behalf at that particular uh, uh, time. We are having our National Executive Committee meeting at the end of this month. We are going to explain uh, the resolutions. But in the manner that we have been power empowered by our Constitution, <coughs> we can take decisions. Some people might not be happy. It is our duty as leadership to go uh, and explain to, to our comrades. As, as I said, we never dealt with the resolutions uh, of the council on the ANC. Uh, I think the, the comrades can speak to that because they made uh, the press statement and they spoke to, uh, to that and they spoke, uh, I think, to, to the officials. But as I said, we take uh, our uh, final, final decisions. If the ANC has pronounced on something, we agree with that. And you might be aware as MKMVA that we did not agree when there was a call by other NEC members that the NEC must step down and must be disbanded. As this collective of MKMVA leadership, we did not agree with that, and it's still our stand. But it's also the ANC National Executive Committee uh, position that uh, uh, there's no need for us to begin to talk about the disbandment of the ANC when we're going to the National uh, Policy Conference and we're going to the National Conference. The term of the leadership is coming to an end in December. Everyone is stepping aside. So as MKMVA, you would remember that we've been very firm on that, that uh, we don't think it's uh, 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 correct. On Comrade Batabile, Comrade Batabile was called to introduce uh, Comrade Nkosa Zangatlamenezo. And then when she was speaking there, you say you have got it on record. You see, she said, you know, when we're campaigning uh, for this, oh, oh, but the NWC, we must not discuss that. So she never mentioned any name that uh, they were campaigning for so and so. They said when they started the campaign, and then she corrected herself, she said, hey, by the way, uh, the, the NWC of the ANC said we must not. Uh, discuss that. Our Kaladina, my, 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 my friend there, it was well attended. <laughs> if you say, mm, we've got stats, maybe the people that we expected to be there, they were not there. But the people that we invited were there. We expected 300 people at the Kaladina. And there may be People arrived late. It did not start at, at the way we expected. People came late, but later you saw yourselves that our Galadina 
was well attended. We can give you the videos of that and come with your videos. <coughs> and we we'll compete. Maybe you expected other people to be there and they were not there. But members of MK and their families and those who we invited were present at that gala dinner and were very happy with the outcome of that uh, uh, gala dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gregory. I want to first and foremost raise the issue that relates to the ANC as a government in this country, as popularly elected by our people. It is the ANC that provides services to our people, not individuals. And I'm raising this because there is a tendency that's beginning to hold itself to give an impression that when you are assigned a specific task, uh, you are seen to be the person providing those services for the people, not the government of the ANC. And um, I, want, I want to also raise that uh, on record. Uh, Comrade Kebuza and Comrade Tabang has never been the leadership of MK. And as you look at the comrades who are also in the steering committee, some of them are and others happen to have been members of MK MVS leadership who have worked with the comrades who are comrades in arms. And there's never been a situation where we see ourselves as, in, as individual providers of services to our people. It is the structures of the ANC and those that are elected in position of authority and through either the ministries they serve or any portfolio they are given. But it is that particular brief that provides services to our people, not an individual. And I'm raising this to make this point to be clear that the notion that people will go around portraying themselves as providers of services in the name of the ANC and in the name of the government must be discouraged. Therefore, if there are houses that have been provided, there is a particular section that deals with housing in a given ministry at a particular service of our government, not an individual. So we don't have a government that would say, or rather, we don't have a comrade president, Mandela or Mandela, who provided services to our people. We've got the ANC that did so. We don't also have Tabombeki that did so. We've got the ANC that did so. We also don't have Zuma. We've got the ANC that provided that services to our people through state institution where we were elected to serve and provide services to our people. So this notion that uh, people must be seen to have provided services as individual must stop, actually. We're discouraging it. We have agreed as, as, as the two structures, and we're going to work towards realizing unity. And some of the turbulence that have happened to express themselves in the, in the eyes of many are the things that together we're going to address. And I want to promise this, this media uh, service that we will provide with answers as to what led to the situation that happened today. Because we are, amongst other things, will be responsible to make sure that any problem that relates to MK and that seek answers must be attended to. Thank you. Uh, any last questions? Oh, there's a question here. What sort of action will be taken against those who came in here and disrupted your press conferences, the press conference 
that's the domain <coughs> that the stage tool the South African public is that MK MPA is the person and the writer. And lastly, why didn't you condemn any of these actions early on during the press conference? Because an expression might be that they were brought here by you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chair I'm Tony from the Fast Seven Two and Zook. I just wanted to find out, we spoke about 90% of the resolutions that you agreed with at the NK Council. Um, what is the 10% that you did not agree on? Is that the ANC position that the Metro Council took? Or could you just elaborate on that? And then I just wanted to ask you with regards to General Nyanda's um, statement that the ANC is in dire straits. Do you agree with that statement? Thank you so much. And the last one. And then my, my name is Ibrahim Olivia. My question is that we <coughs> were in Nanda, um, we went outside um, and spoke to the man that was with um, the shops that the proceedings earlier on. He claimed that he knows you and you know him. I just said, can you clarify that before I get into it? It's already clarified that one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is that on? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think the, la the last the, the, the last one is that after the elections of uh, 2016 August, the ANC reflected on itself how e it performed, and it took a decision that uh, it must go back to the people and correct its own mistakes, and. Uh, there were challenges about factionalism also, which the ANC publicly spoke about is that uh, we must deal about these things of uh, factionalism. So there are challenges that are facing the ANC. And uh, our comrades here who came before us, uh, they know and they've got experience. It's not for the first time that the ANC faces challenges. And it was got a way on how to overcome all those challenges. So these efforts of MKMVA coming together united and were saying we want to see uh, factionalism being dealt with in the African National Congress. It's a duty of all of us as MK uh, members that we must play a role in, in, the, in the African National Congress so that we don't have these things that are happening now. That's just this constructive uh, participation by MKMVA uh, members in the structures of uh, the ANC. And uh, the ANC has not been hiding in the corners that it does not have the challenges. It explained that it has got challenges, it performed bad in the elections. So we are addressing that thing. And that is why you saw many people, ANC members, saying ANC do something. If you don't do something, otherwise the ANC is going to collapse. So this efforts by all of us is to make sure that the ANC does not die in, in our eyes. So what we're doing here is to play a very important role in assisting the African uh, National Congress. Look, uh, indeed it is uh, uh, wrong. Uh, and I'm really disappointed in the manner that uh, the comrades behaved here. Uh, even if they've got issues, I don't think that was a correct platform uh, for them to come and uh, behave in the manner they're behaving. Uh, and uh, we, we, we will speak to, to those comrades uh, and get to see how did they come to a well-planned joint press conference to communicate, not only with MK members, but to communicate with society outside that MKMVA is going to play a very important role in changing the lives of our people and in making sure that it plays a very important role in the life of the African uh, <coughs> national uh, issues of the ANC. The 10% we did not agree really, uh, but issues that we resolved internally. Uh, 
I was evicted alone, but some foreign nationals are still there. I don't have a place to go with these kids. I want to go back there and evict them. We discussed last week on Tuesday and we agreed on those issues. And that is why we're saying, we're mentioning them, that may most of the things that were discussed at Nazareth are the things that we are also addressing as MKMB. So that's why there was no uh, tensions. And that is why General Nunu was speaking here that uh, the meeting was very frank, open. Because we're saying all of us were striving towards one, two, three, four. So let's join these things together and make them uh, a one program. And I want to repeat again that uh, come to our, our conference, you will see that the MK, MVA members can be able to resolve their issues internally with it without any outsiders. And we've got that capacity uh, to do that. We've got very good commissars in Mkondo West The comrade we have just uh, spoken here, Commissar uh, Grigori, uh, those who, who are saying I'm not a trained soldier, eh? Now you have got my person that you can refer to. Commissar Grigori Tatis uh, was my company commissar in Angola. Uh, Matrosov base, if you want to know. So anything about me, ref you, you have got a reference now. Ne? So you don't listen to other people. He's here uh, in front of, of, of you. So I'm, 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 I'm saying... Uh, we have got a pot potential, all of us, to go and explain to our people. Even uh, comrades from the MK National Council, they are still going back to explain to the people who attend the council about the, uh, their resolutions. And I might uh, suspect that they might not even also, they might find the same situation here. You see, so it's all of us as MK members who drive towards one thing of uniting MK, MVA, going to uh, the, nation, the National Conference of MK. What is good with MK is that MK comrades, uh, they've got that thing of self-criticism and it's very brutal in the ranks of MK. Very, very brutal. And if you are not from those ranks, you will think that those comrades are, are destroying that particular comrade when they criticize and correct that particular comrade. So we, we are moving forward of uh, uniting MK, MVA uh, together. We'll speak to the comrades uh, who are here and also uh, I think it was not correct. We condemn it as the leadership of MK, MVA that it was never, never supposed to have happened. If comrades have got issues about me, they don't have to, to go to a press conference to raise issues. But as this two, MKMVA and MK National Council, our program is very clear. So that makes sure we play a very important role in the life of the African National Congress, dealing with factionalism, uniting the African National Congress, uniting MKMVA. So as we go to the policy conference, what is important amongst us here is the contribution that we want to, to, to make at the policy conference of the ANC. That is why the MKMV National Conference, before the, the, before the policy conference, it's not going to be an MKMV uh, conference that is going to concentrate on electing leadership. You'll be surprised about the resolutions that will come from, those, from that conference. Because the leadership will be the last thing to be discussed but we are going to discuss about the life of the African National Congress. We are going to discuss about the welfare of our comrades, how fast we should fast track uh, the welfare of, 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 of our comrades. Thank you, Chair. Yeah. That will be the last follow-up. Uh, my question is, uh, you know, going forward to this conference, to the you know, how confident are you that, uh, you know, there was, you're not, I mean, you, 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 look at the, you look at the interest of the MKMB. You know, this conference is going to be, uh, like, sponsored by, you know, people who are looking at it. I mean, there's been allegations in the past that, you know, there was some business people 
family business people who have gone there and came in. And then moving forward, how are we that we, I mean, we would not allow individuals to, I mean, whose interest to influence, you know, this concept, the outcome of this concept. 